Hi, my name's Tripp. Welcome to the Georgia Tech Craft Center. Today, we will be teaching you guys how to throw clay on the wheel. Uh, if you come on in, this is the Craft Center. We got our pottery wheels over here. There's a trash can lid. Uh, this is actually not trash, but it has free clay in it. Uh, you can usually find some usable clay over here, so feel free to use that. Um, usually, I like to use fresh clay, which you can buy from the Craft Center, so I'm going to get some of that off my shelf. And we're going to go ahead and start with the very first step. So, what you need to do to be able to throw clay. We got these boards under here, and the very first step is you want to be able to um, get the air bubbles out of the clay and be able to make the clay consistent without any air bubbles in it. So we're just going to take some clay and we're going to make a ball out of it. And um, we got wire, we got all the tools over here. And um, we got wire over here, we got scrapers, we got all the cutting tools. So uh, as long as it's clean when you get here and clean when you leave, that's how the craft center works. So I'm just going to cut off a small piece. And you're going to want to make like a baseball size or tennis ball size piece your first time. So just roll it into a ball and we're going to knead it. And come here and watch closely because there's specific technique to this. Basically, when you get down, you're going to take your hands like this and you're going to press on the clay and not too thin. It's going to be about like that. And then you're going to roll it back to you 90 degrees and you have a flat side. And you're going to take your hands again. Well, you're not going to change position. You're just going to roll it back to you and then push down again. And it's this process of kneading. And it's very simple and you're just putting your body weight into it and it's going to have that flat side. Basically from the side view, it's going to be uh, pressing all the air out. So you're going to do this a couple of times. And don't forget, it's not just straight down. It's also down and in because these two little horns right here are going to be needing to go back in because if you don't go down, they're just going to go straight out. So don't forget to push those back in when you're kneading. And I can, when you start off, you don't really go this fast, but I can get this done pretty fast. So this is just really, the whole trick in throwing clay is you want to have clay without any air bubbles, without any hard spots, because when you notice, when you get it on the wheel, you're going to want to be able to drop a hole and make thin walls. And if you have an air bubble in one of the walls, it's really going to mess you up. And if you have a dry piece of clay or a, um, here's another common mistake. People leave their bag open. Big no, no, don't do that. Eh, minus points. Close your bag because you're going to have dried out pieces of clay in there. Yeah, you know, make, uh, make for uneven walls and hard to throw clay. So always close your bag. So here's the true test. We take it now. We're gonna, oh, here's another thing. Always clean your wire off. Like you just wipe your finger and get all the old junk off. And then we're going to cut it open in half and see if there's any air bubbles in there. And if there was an air bubble, that meant we would have to keep throwing or keep kneading it. So we got good clay. We got something we can throw on the wheel now. So let's do it. Let's throw this on the wheel.